Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth again with a, a box of random stuff. Uh, only this time it's not a box, it's a very disgusting milk crate. This is how it came in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, milk crate out of frame here because it is super disgusting and gross. But I will put some of this back into the frame here. And then we'll take a look at it. Fortress of stuff here. Alright, this I'm just gonna get this thing right out of the way. Alright, here's all the new and exciting stuff coming out from McFarland Toys Danger Girl, Austin Powers, Alice Cooper, Slapshot, Mackenzie Brothers. Ah, the best ever Mandarin Spawn, Metal Gear Solid. This was a good year. This was actually, uh, this was in uh, McFarland Toys, it was right in their stride. Bunch of good stuff there. All right, next up here, we'll go for, uh, this is just a bag of, uh, missiles and stuff. I don't see the vehicles that this stuff goes to. Just a bunch of G.I. Joe missiles and parts and bombs and stuff. Nothing really jumping out at me as super important, so we'll get all this out of the way. Next up, we got a couple of, uh, Megaforce ships, jets, whatever you want to call them. Cool sweep wings, like an F-14. Um, no jets on the inside here, this wing's a little bent up, and, you know, they're missing all the same parts, and these are just about totally useless because they don't have any pieces, but what are you going to do? This bag is... Out of here. In here we've got... This is not... <laughs> this is not the... Not mask. Uh, this is obviously a G.I. Joe uh, helmet here. We'll set that aside for now, but we do have a couple of mask figures in here. Uh, neither of them go to this vehicle, and of course this piranha is uh, pretty beat up. Um, this firing me mechanism still works. Missing cockpit. Handlebars are busted off. Missing front windscreen. So that's seen better days, but cool to grab these two figures. Oops. Got a uh, Toy Biz Silver Surfer surfboard here. One of the, I don't know, that's not even what we're talking about. G.I. Joe, this goes to that, uh, I don't know, one of the airplanes. I'm going to put it over here with all the missiles. Nice looking uh, Aquaman. Still works pretty good. As good as it, as it can work. But uh, he's in pretty good shape. Good uh, superpowers Aquaman there. That's a nice piece. This here we've got a bag. A bag of Joe parts. Not sure if anybody's complete. Nice hair. Uh, this is, uh, so we got Snow Serpent. We've got Sci-Fi. I got a bag of O-rings. I'll fix these guys up later. Just trying to see real quick who we've got here. This uh, Ice Viper is probably not worth hanging on to. He's actually supposed to be white, not yellow. Might just toss him. Uh, we got uh, Cutter. He's missing his crotch. We got uh, Cobra Commander armored. He's got his crotch. Uh, and nobody else here has a crotch. Whose crotch are you? All right, so we're going to have to uh, see if there's more G.I. Joe stuff here. I'll push this side over here. Uh, in here, we've got a bag of miscellaneous plastic guys. This guy looks like he goes to a board game of some sort. I have no knowledge of these whatsoever. If you know anything about these, please ho holler out. Let me know. Speak up in the comments. Most of these just look like generic uh, army guys that uh, have been made for... 70 years now, uh, but some of these guys are actually pretty cool. We've got some alien guys. I don't know if those are just generic, if they come in like Toys R Us bins or uh, or what, but uh, a couple of cool pieces there, but for the most part, just generic plastic army men. We need to spend too much time on those. Uh, this bag is not bad. Got some Dino Riders. Oh, there, uh, there we go. Um, this is not Dino Riders. This is just a so a Quatlas or, or whatever he's called uh, that doesn't go to Dino Riders, uh, I don't think. Yeah. Um, but uh, some other random parts. A couple of figures here. That's cool. Uh, this guy's not Dino Riders. These guys are Dino Riders. Uh, unfortunately, none of the cool uh, 
the villain, the monsters. I don't know. What I, I honestly, I don't know that much about Dino Riders. I wasn't a big fan. Uh, I like the idea and concept. Never really particularly cared for it uh, in execution. But uh, I'll, uh, I have a bag of Dino Riders parts, so I'll add all this stuff to it. Not a lot of complete pieces. Just you know, bins like these, collections like these, sort of find their way to me, and I end up with a bag of random parts that I can't do anything with yet. Got uh, some GI Joes. This is his helmet. This doesn't be on here. This is trash. Uh, got his helmet. We got a Hell of Viper. Let go of that. Uh, okay, so your crotch was in the first batch. Over here's your crotch. Nope, not that one. Yeah, one. All right, his crotch was over there. This is another. Oh, that's good. Cool. Commander's crotch. Um, not looking. Ooh, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Uh, striking out on crotches here. Not everyone came with their crotch. This guy's super yellow. He, he faced the sun for a long time. All right. Would be a good batch. Oh, man, this is just... I don't know. Like a mortar went off and just took took everybody with it. Um, maybe there's some more G.I. Joe stuff in here. We'll see. We got a uh, leader one. Actually, I'm surprised this is in this uh, good condition. He's he's all there. His uh, Wow, his wings are even staying up. That's, that is rare. Leader One was always my favorite GoBot. Uh, I like this one. I like the Super GoBot. I always liked them way better than Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. Way better than the Seekers. We got a uh, Robo Force piece here. I don't know. D did anybody anybody care about Robo Force? Not a, not a huge fan. I never really got the appeal of it. These robot designs just don't do anything for me. Uh, I never really understood. <laughs> the suction cup on the bottom there, and I don't know. In a world of He-Man and G.I. Joe and Star Wars, I don't really see. I wasn't really too terribly excited about that. A uh, Robotech, Matchbox Robotech, uh, Battle Pod, I think these were called. Um, missing some pieces up here, missing the, oops, missing the plastic windshield, missing a, a thing here. Something's loose on the inside, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to that. It's a little discolored. Nope, nothing. But, uh, still a neat piece. It'll clean up a little bit better, and, uh, I'll have to check my random bins and see if maybe I have a couple of, uh, those pieces laying around. If not, maybe I can look around and find some parts. Got an Inhumanoids figure here. Uh, never a big fan of these, because, you know, the proportions on them, for the most part, just, like, he's, <laughs> he's got this teeny, tiny little head, and then just the big, bulky armor. And, I mean, the monster designs were fantastic, but these, I don't know, these suit designs just never did anything for me. And the proportions are weird, and the weapons are weird. I don't know. I know it's a popular line with uh, vintage collectors, but uh, it never really did anything for me. I'll have to see if I can figure out what his helmet looks like. Uh, Google that and find out what his helmet looks like and see if I can get that guy put together. We've got another bag of... Uh, random stuff here. We got a monkey, we got a pig, we got a rhino, army guy, a couple of matchbox cars, something that's trying real hard to be a Gundam. Another one. Those look like they just came out of, like, birthday party favor boxes. All this stuff did, in fact. That's all. That can all go. Next up, we've got... We got, uh, instruction booklet for... Oh no, this is the Turtles joke book. Uh, why do turtles like attacking with the double barrel punch gun? They always have a smashing time. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold on to that. I don't want to spoil all the jokes. I might have to use them in a video at some point. Got a couple of ghosts. He's got some paint on him. That's too bad. This crank seat is just... I don't I don't think that can be saved. I might have to go. Oh, hey, look at this. A mortal. I have never, ever, ever, ever had one of these before. I have two of the rocks and bugs and things creatures. I've never had a mortal. That is interesting. Huh. Neat. This guy, so we got some ghosts, we got Bank Man, some Ninja Turtle weapons, and this part that goes to the Ninja Turtles vehicle. That is neat! Never had one of those before. And here we've got Secret Wars, uh, I think this is Skeleton Warriors. Secret Wars Shield, I don't know what that goes to. Ah, look at this tiny little skeleton in here. Tiny little skeleton, he's neat, pretty detailed. We got a nice looking black Spider-Man, we got a Doc Ock with no arms, those arms have just been straight cut right off, that's no good. And then Mag Magneto, just chewed up, not looking great. And not one, but two, two, two Kangs. Alright, 
Ah, look at this. More. We got uh, Iron Man, Doctor Doom with actually, holy cow, he's actually got uh, his uh, print still on his chest. That is always worn away. And one of the less common ones uh, in pretty rough shape, uh, Daredevil. He looks way redder on screen than he does uh, here in real life. We got an Adventure People, uh, Bell Diver, his helmet. We got uh, an Alien, <laughs> Scorpion, Scorpion, alien, or just Alien Warrior uh, on a uh, Star Trek Playmate Star Trek stand. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Neat. Let's see if he blows apart. He's supposed to blow apart, I think, right? Isn't this the. I don't know, he's not blowing apart. This guy, I don't know. You tell me what this is. I don't know what that is. He's a uh, skateboarding karate guy. That's what you tune in for. We got, uh, I don't know what this is. 1990, uh, I don't know, skateboard thing. We've got another alien piece. Gorilla alien, sports stuff. And in here we've got some more random bits. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you are. This looks like a tiny little He-Man head. But I have no idea what this guy goes to. Um, a couple of muscle figures, weapon, tiny little sarcophagus, Lego guy. This is a Borg arm. It's a D&D miniature, tiny little plastic thing, and a wind-up boxing kangaroo. There it is, action. All right, we're gonna get that out of here, so hopefully the mic won't pick it up anymore. And in the last bag, we've got more GI Joe. Got... How sweet! Look, the GI Joe Ray Bands. Some Eco Force. We got ah, we've got two parts of an Alley Viper. Do we have a mask and a crotch by any chance? We have cro ooh, two crocodiles. Nice. That's cool. Wrong crotch. Huh. Oh, sweet. Awesome version of Zartan. No, no other Alley Viper parts. That's too bad. Maybe I've got some in uh, my bin OGI Joe parts. Anyway, bunch of stuff there. Pretty cool batch of stuff. Uh, gonna burn that milk crate. It's pretty gross. But uh, let uh, make sure you hit uh, hit like, hit subscribe. Oh, there's one other thing in here. And let me know in the... Oh, let me know. I have no idea what this goes. Oh, this is Aliens. Uh, let me know if there's anything you saw here that uh, you know what it is uh, that I wasn't able to identify. Thanks for watching. Later.